Now we're joined by Andrew Bruce, President of Auckland Property Investors Association, who will be able to tell us exactly what the Minimum Standards Bill will actually mean for renters and landlords. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks for that. First up, I want to know, what is your association? What do you actually do? Well, we're a non-profit organisation, and we're basically just set up to educate and for networking for property investors. OK, so what is the minimum standards? What does it actually mean for people? OK, that's really interesting, because on the 1st of July, there's a couple of different aspects to it. Firstly, there's the smoke detectors that you're going to have to have installed by the 1st of July, and that's this year, coming up very, very shortly. OK, like weeks away? Weeks away. And then what we've got is we've got a graduated scale for the insulation, and that's insulation underneath the floor and in the ceiling. Now, there are one or two exemptions to that where you can't actually physically do it, but that's got to be in by the 1st of July 2019. And there's a couple of other little bits and pieces. So that's creeping up pretty fast. For people that are renting right now, what would they expect their landlords to be doing at this time? OK, if you're a private landlord, you would expect over the next three years that they will be looking at putting insulation in the, in the underfloor and in the ceiling, if it hasn't already been done so. So if it's up to the 1978 standards, they won't have to do that. But if there's no insulation in there at all at the moment, between now and uh, 1st of July 2019, they'll have to look at putting some insulation in. Okay. The other thing for tenants is post 1 July 2016, you, on your tenancy agreement, you're going to have to note what type of insulation and what level of insulation you actually have. So that's going to be probably one of the more difficult aspects that a landlord's going to have to deal with. They're, basically, they're going to have to get some expert in to give a report. So there are things that are, need to get, get, are going to be done very, very soon that both the tenants and the landlords need to know about. So it's going to cost landlords money, isn't it, this insulation, the different kinds of fire um, alarms that they need? What's in it for the landlords? Are they happy about it? Well, look, we've done a survey of our membership and 92% of our members have already actually done some level of insulation anyway. That could well be because a lot of our members tend to be longer term member, uh, investors as opposed to more the speculator type investor. But yes, it, look, it is going to have a financial impact. But look, there's a balance with everything. And so, yeah, you know, it's just one of, one of those things that we, we're going to have to deal with from the 1st of July onwards. And if landlords want more advice, where is a good place to go? Well, we do regular seminars on it at APIA, www.apia.org.nz. We run 130 events a year and we're running a lot of events on these things. So if you want to find out more, go to our website and come along to some of our events. OK, so, well, it's good. And also the fire alarms, you can't put a price on somebody's life as no. well, I think. Um, seems like a great piece of legislation to keep, help keep families safe, uh, healthy in their homes as well. Lots of things to learn. Thank you so much for joining us, Andrew.